Now, Maryland has finished in the top three in the Big Ten in every season since joining the league. They did so with Mello Trimble running the offense. He has moved on, but they've added some really good size. The freshmen were just great last year. No reason to think this program cannot keep on rolling. And a couple of those freshmen from last year, Anthony Cowan and Kevin Herter, with us along with head coach Mark Tertian. Guys, welcome to New York. Easy trip for you. You were saying you took the train up here. Yeah, we took the train. I um, It was their first train ride, but uh, it was fun. It's fun for them, and I'm sure they'll sleep on the way back home. Right. We'll take it right here into Penn Station. All right, just waltz off. Not Pretty bad. cool. What was it like? It was really cool. Uh, definitely different, but it was fun. You guys like this notion of having the Big Ten tournament in New York City? Yeah, I got no problem with it. Okay. It'll, be, it'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, it should be a lot of fun. Let's talk about this team a little bit. And the, look, the obvious headline is that Mello Trimble isn't here anymore. Um, so let's just kind of get that out of the way. Yeah. How do you replace him? Well, you know, um, we'll do it by committee. We have a lot of really good players. Mello did a lot of great things for us. Uh, we won 79 games in his three years. We were 30 and 8 in games decided by six points or less. That's remarkable. Uh, yeah, he was terrific. But we have, some, we have a great backcourt sitting next to me right here that, that'll step up. Mello was in 71% of our ball screens last year. Um, that'll be spread uh, with you know throughout the team this year. We have a lot of really good guards. Uh, and we'll be a different team. We didn't post the ball last year. We'll be able to post the ball a little bit more this year, which I think will help us in late game situations. Yeah, how has your front line evolved? Well, it's got a chance to be, be good. Even Bender's totally changed his body and, and looks great. Checo's almost healthy. It, it, it's 100% according to the doctors, but he's still probably 85%, 90% getting back to where he was. Um, so he'll be terrific for us. We, for, uh, Bruno Fernando's got a chance to be a special player for us. So he's got a great name. So really like, really like you know, our players. Josh Tamayich has gotten bigger and stronger and better. So, and then Justin Jackson can, you know, play obviously inside for us too. So we got some good players. What excites you guys the most about this team? And Anthony, I'll start with you. Um, just how versatile we are. Um, there's so many different players that can play different positions. Uh, I think Coach already talked about how Justin Jackson can either play the three or four for us. Um, he's learning both. So um, I think that's what makes our team so so much better than it was last year. How about you, Kevin? Yeah, I just think we have a lot of really unselfish guys, and especially the way we play, the way our offense runs. Yeah, we have a lot of read-type situations. Our offense is all kind of motions, and it really the players depict uh, you know what we run. And so with the personnel we have, with how guys like to move the ball and pass around, I think a lot of guys will get a lot of different looks, and it's a fun offense to play in. Who can be the best leaders on this team? I, I think it starts with the guys obviously returning. Um, I think people at first will look towards me, Anthony, and Justin to do that. But I think Checo and Jared are two seniors, and Sean Obi, who's come in, I think they've also done a great job of being leaders. But um, you know, I think me and Anthony, you know, starting off the two guys up here, I think we're definitely going to have to step up and try to be more leaders this year. No, I agree with uh, agree with Kevin. Um, it's not only going to be from us. Um, we also have two seniors, just like you said. Jared has has been talking to him way more than he was last year, I think. And also also Checo, um, just leading the younger guys, such as Bruno, who's not really used to uh, the style of play that we are we already have, but um, he's moving along. A lot of hype around Bruno. What can you tell us about his game? Uh, he plays hard. And he plays to exhaustion, and you get, put a little Gatorade in him, then he comes back and <laughs> practices hard again. The kid just... I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Um, he's athletic. He's big, strong kid. Um, doesn't have the normal freshman body. Um, guys like him a lot. They respect him. He's a good piece. Uh, wonderful kid. So um, we're excited about him. And then Daryl Marcel, our other freshman, is a terrific player. Um, play multiple positions for us. We, we wanted to get a little bit tougher. We had some tough guys. We had some bulk, and, and those two really helped us in that area. I know that was an issue that concerned you last year, was you felt like you just weren't physically as tough as you wanted them to be. Yeah. It manifested itself at times in rebounding. Yeah. Do you feel like you're at a spot now where you can be the team that you envision, Mark? Yeah, well, we were just so young, and, um, and we were little. <laughs> and uh, so that had a lot to do with it. But, yeah, we're a much better rebounding team. We're a different team. Um, and I think we have a chance to be a really good team. You know, um, you know, they're practicing hard. We're getting better. Uh, we have the pieces, like they said. We have a lot of really good pieces, and the pieces fit. We have a lot of very intelligent players. We do run a read and react offense. And we have a lot of guys that have a great feel, and they really share the ball. So it should be a, a you know, fun team to coach. It's your fourth year in the Big Ten. What are the biggest things that you've learned about this league? I mean, you've seen everyone a number of times now. What stands out about it? 
Well, you can't you can't take any team for granted. You can't say, well, we're going to show up and beat that team. It's just not going to happen. Um, and I think we've learned that you know, we have to be prepared for every every team. The coaching's so good, and the players from the neck up are so good. Uh, and then the arenas are terrific. Um, you know, we've led the country 41 straight years in attendance. So uh, our guys know that they can't take anything for granted. They got to be prepared. And uh, I think this year, more than any year that we've been in the league, this could be our best you know top to bottom the league could be the best what are the goals you're talking about for this team anthony internally um just staying together um making sure everyone stays confident that's just a couple of our goals um last year we kind of kind of crumbled a little bit towards the end uh, so just trying to make sure we stay focused in everything we do yeah i think we just want to finish out the year a lot better than we finished last year for us i think our goal last year was making the state tournament and obviously that's a goal another goal of ours this year but a uh, first-round exit isn't fun, and so hopefully for us we play a little bit deeper into March and you know, hopefully play a couple more games in the Big Ten tournament too. Biggest thing that needs to happen for that to happen? Uh, we have to stay healthy. And, you know, two guys, Checo and Dion Wiley, have been really hurt a lot the last couple of years, would give us tremendous depth. Dion is not where he was before he hurt his knee, but he's really close. So he's back to the kid that we recruited, getting close to that kid. But if we stay healthy and we stay confident, because we've got an unbelievably tough schedule, um, we should be doing what they're saying, being a better team down the stretch and having a chance to, to advance in tournaments. Coach, always fun to visit with you. Yeah. Mark Tertian, Anthony Cowan, Kevin Herter. Thanks, guys. Thank awesome. you. Thanks. Thank you.